Hi, I'm Raul. Welcome to OpenLP Guru, a set of video tutorials where I take you through how to use OpenLP's features. In today's episode, we'll be looking at how to import Bibles and find Bible verses. As I mentioned in my last video, my dark color scheme is from my operating system, not OpenLP. I use the KDE Plasma 5 desktop on Debian Unstable Linux, and I have it configured to use the Breeze Dark theme. If you're interested in this, I'll leave a link for you below in the description. OpenLP supports importing Bibles from a few different sources, namely OSIS, an open Bible standard, CSV, otherwise known as Common Delimited Files, OpenSong, and Zephaniah. OpenLP can also download Bibles from some online Bible websites. To open the Bible importer in the Bibles tab of the library, click on Import, or via the File menu, click on Import Bibles. Let's start by importing an OSIS Bible. OSIS is an open standard and I got my Bible from the SWORD project, which I'll link to in the description below. Make sure that OSIS is selected and then browse for your file. With your file selected, click the Next button. Now you'll need to type in the details of your Bible. In this case, it is the King James Version and it is in the public domain here in the USA. Make sure that your copyright details are correct. Most translations of the Bible have specific rules about displaying the verses of the Bible, including how many you may display and the details you need to show when displaying those verses. OpenLP tries to comply with these rules and that is why these details are mandatory. Click Next once you've filled in these details and OpenLP will start to import the Bible. If you're importing a non-English Bible, OpenLP may ask you to confirm the matching English name of the book with your language. This is because OpenLP keeps an internal database mapping of non-English book name to English book name in order to ensure an accurate match when you're searching for Bible verses. Once the import is complete, click the Finish button. Now that you have a Bible imported, you can search for a Bible verse and add it to the service. Open the Bibles tab in the library. The easiest way to search for a Bible verse is to type in the scripture reference like you would on most online Bible sites. With a quick tab open, make sure King James Version is selected under Version and type in the first three letters of Deuteronomy. You'll see that OpenLP tries to autocomplete the name of the book. Press the down arrow key on your keyboard to select Deuteronomy and now just type in the rest of your chapter and verse reference. In this case type chapter 6 verses 4 to 5. Pressing enter runs a search and returns the verses in the list box below the search. Just like with the songs, you can preview a verse by double clicking on it or drag and drop it into the service. To add multiple verses to a single service item, select all the verses that you want using either Shift or Control, and then click and drag the selected verses to the service. By default, OpenLP will show each verse on its own slide. To change this behavior, use the Layout Style drop-down to choose between verse per slide, verse per line, or continuous. Verse per slide shows a single verse on each slide. Verse per line shows multiple verses on a single slide, but each verse is started on a new line. Continuous shows multiple verses on each slide, but doesn't start a new line at every new verse. You might have noticed the little lock icon next to the search button. This button allows you to lock the current set of Bible verses and run another search without removing the current set of verses. This way you could group together a set of related scripture readings rather than having separate items in the service. Another helpful feature is the text search. If you click on the little book icon in the search box, a drop down will appear and you can select text search. Now you can search your entire Bible for a word or phrase. 
for instance, Adorn. This will bring up some results, which you can then either add to the service or use for fine tuning which verse to look for. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, we'll look at loading and displaying presentations. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please click the subscribe button below the video and click the bell icon to be notified of when I next post a video. Goodbye and God bless.